My coverage of CES 2018 from Las Vegas, Nevada is brought to you by Cooler Master, Enermax, OCZ Toshiba, and Deepcool. My next journey at CES 2018 was over to the Encore Fabulous Hotel and Casino to check out what ASUS had on display. And the first thing that caught my eye was the PG35VQ. And this is a new monitor, 35 inch ultra wide. UWQHD, ultra wide quad HD, that means 3440 by 1440. It's a 200 hertz refresh rate monitor with G-Sync as well as HDR. So all of the buzzwords that you want in a monitor, uh, 512 zone LED backlighting. It's a curved VA panel. I only approve of curved panels when you're talking about a monitor, when you're probably gonna be the only one viewing it. 100, I'm sorry, 1,000 candles per square meter of peak brightness. It's also got quantum dot technology and it supports DCI-P3 color gamut. So really, really good color depth on this display as well. And yes, it still does have that ROG projection logo that it does down on the desk. So um, you do still get that if you happen to get this monitor. And we don't have pricing details for this monitor right now, but the 34 inch version still sells for about $1,300. So chances are this one's gonna be, I would expect in the $1,400, $1,500 range, but hopefully it will be available on the market soon. Next up is a unique product from Asus that maybe was less expected. This is a bezel free kit, and it's basically a sort of unique solution to handle using triple monitors and dealing with the bezels in between the monitors, which is of course the worst part of using triple monitors, especially if you're using it for gaming. So this is basically an accessory. It enables gamers with multi-monitor setups to visually eliminate the gaps where their displays connect. Uh, the monitors that they're demoing it with is the RG Swift PG258Q, which is a 24.5 inch monitor. These aren't gonna be available till later this year. They're talking about probably late Q1 or early Q2 timeframe. They're still refining it. And if you look at it dead on, you'll notice of course the disappearing bezels. These plastic strips basically refract the light in order to visually eliminate the bezels. However, you can still see the strips themselves as they do create a bit of a slight discoloration where they overlay on the monitors themselves. Uh, they are flexible and they're not like glass or anything, so they do seem like they're fairly, fairly durable if you need to take them off and put them back on. It's really simple, you just remove them and pop them back on there. And I guess another bonus uh, piece is that Asus in their uh, development of this product decided that uh, having the monitors angled with each other at 130 degrees was the ideal viewing angle. So the uh, pieces that pop on the top and the bottom of each monitor will help you align the monitors at that angle as well but you definitely can still see some kind of discoloration where the plastic overlay is going on. So it's obviously not an ideal solution, but for anyone who uses triple monitors, uh, I'd say especially the fact that you can easily remove them and put them back on. And also the fact that these don't seem like they're gonna be all that expensive since the actual material is fairly simple, um, might be a good option for anyone who's looking to enhance their triple monitor gaming experience. Next up is the BFGD, the big gaming display or Big format gaming display, I guess, is what we're supposed to call it if we want to be PC. But uh, this is the ROG Swift PG65, the actual ASUS version. I briefly showed you guys this in my NVIDIA video, so check it out for a little bit more on that and some more demonstration of the big format gaming displays in action. Uh, got a little bit more details about the ASUS model though. It is a VA panel and it has a full array LED backlight on the back with uh, upwards of 300 zones. And in fact, they said they might even be enhancing that because the bigger the display, obviously the smaller each zone for LED backlighting is and they wanna have a really good uh, gaming experience. And for HDR, of course, contrast is incredibly important. It has a 178 degree viewing angle though, cinema grade DCI P3 color gamut reproduction. And ASUS said specifically that their BFG GD is capable of a true 120 hertz refresh rate. I don't want to speak for the other guys, the other displays that we uh, saw. We did see a couple of the competitors, for example, from HP, but Asus does seem to be very confident in their model that they've been developing right now. Also got to take a look at the back of the monitor, which maybe isn't that huge of a deal, but uh, does have the largest ROG logo that I've ever seen on anything ever. Uh, also, there are a couple cooling fans active on this display. So the fact that you have enhanced technology in there, you got a shield built into there, and you also have a very high refresh rate monitor, I imagine the panel probably outputs a decent amount of heat as well, it means that they did need, a need active cooling. However, anecdotally, it didn't sound like it was all that loud. And I imagine once they have these and they're bringing them to market, they'll make sure that you don't hear any of the uh, cooling that's going on behind the, behind the display itself.
I also wanted to give you guys a quick look at the Strix GL12. This is a desktop gaming PC, so it is a complete unit you would buy and you get a desktop PC. So I know if you guys are into building your own PCs, maybe you're not quite as interested, but if you are looking for a solution that you can just buy and have and use, uh, these feature a GTX 1080 up to 512 gigs uh, PCIe SSD, or there's lesser versions where you can get a SATA SSD or even a mechanical hard drive. Uh, Coffee Lake CPUs, you can get the 8600, 8700, 8700 K and you can uh, do factory overclocking. There is that option and they'll ship it to you running at 4.8 gigahertz across all six cores, which is a very decent overclock. That overclock is enabled because there's liquid cooling involved. Uh, it's got what appears to be an Asa Tech unit in there. The water block has a glowing red ROG logo. And then uh, behind the front panel cover on the case up towards the top, you'll notice there's an optical drive, which is nice to have. I do like still having the ability to have an optical drive in there and a hot swap 2.5 inch uh, bay. Now the hot swap bay, at least by default, you're not supposed to use for an operating system, but it's made so you can easily pop in a drive if you need to copy stuff really quick. It's just got a SATA back clean on there. Or for example, if you're gonna be using a bunch of these systems to set up uh, maybe a LAN party or an eSports event or something like that, you'll often have people who bring external 2.5 inch drives with uh, their set of games on it or something. So being able to easily pop those in the front in order to access uh, whatever's on the drive. And heck, I'm always a fan of uh, 2.5 inch hot swap bays anyway. Uh, it's got a clear acrylic side panel so you can look and see the parts inside. There is some expandability. You can buy it completely all put together, but of course you can uh, expand it yourself since they are using desktop components in there and it's got Aura Sync RGB lighting as well. The final product I want to show is the XG Station Pro and I thought you guys might find this interesting depending on what you do with your computers but if you like to game on the go or if you like to do work while you're on the go or if you maybe do work on a laptop but then you come home and you like to do heavy lifting work like 3D rendering or, or CAD or something like that, then having an external GPU dock might be suitable not just for gaming, but also for something like a workstation. So the XG Station Pro is an external graphics dock for gaming and productivity. It's got a nice clean gray finish. It's got ventilation holes on both sides and it's fairly easy to pop off the side panels and remove them if you need to clean stuff out or just get in there to access the uh, actual PCIe slot for the graphics card. 220 millimeter cooling fans, so when things get warm, it can keep your graphics card cool. And uh, it can be used to expand, for instance, a thin and light laptop and make it into a gaming PC or add a workstation GPU uh, for 3D modeling, CAD work, or that kind of thing. Also, a very clean design, uh, very appropriate even for a Mac user, I think. Uh, I think it would be suitable for that, a nice gray finish. It's going to cost $329 and it's launching in Q1 of this year. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for my coverage of the ASUS Suite here at CES 2018. Definitely hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel for more content, more CES coverage coming at you very soon. And of course, a big thank you to my sponsors for this event, Enermax, Cooler Master, Deep Cool, and OCZ Toshiba. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.